Hey, you. Yeah, you. So I see you want to get good at Realm Royale. Well, luckily for you, I fancy myself a warrior, and I'm here to bring you five simple tips and tricks to improve your tanking experience in Realm. Before we begin, this isn't a super detailed video about loadouts and weapons, because not everyone likes the same stuff, and not all warriors have maxed out builds. So with that being said, let's begin. Tip number one, fuck your teammates. I constantly hear people whine about stolen kills and how that was my chicken, and to some degree I can see this, but if you're a tank like me, the dude you're fighting is right in front of you, and that motherfucker shouldn't even know what hit him. I played a tournament with some of the top realm players in the world, and do you think they bitched each other about stolen kills? No. It's all about the team eliminations, and the only real number you should be worried about is the number one at the end. Trust me, your team will thank you later. Tip number two. Stop being a pussy. I always see warriors getting shot at, and what is the first thing they do? Run. What is that shit? The best way to get shot in the ass is to turn around and give it to them. Trust your hunter to throw down some cover fire so you can run into the bullets like a fucking marine. Back in 1983, Iron Maiden told us that if you're going to die, then die with your boots on. And honestly, I have the same advice. Tip number three. Steal people's shit. If you're in the middle of a hot drop and you and your enemy are going after the same chest, shard his shit when it pops out so you can have a knife fight like a man. If you do this, 9 out of 10 times your opponent will panic and give you a nice opportunity to stab him in the dick. This type of strategy also goes for forging. A well-timed assault on a forge will yield more than just a few kills and a few shards when you gank their legendaries and distribute them to your homies. You know, as a peace offering for taking all their kills. Tip number 4. This one is simple, but not everyone will be able to do this. If you have extra buttons on your mouse, I strongly recommend binding shard item to one of them. This will save you a lot of time and allow you to stay mobile while sharding a bunch of shit. Tip number 5. Utilize the tactical crouch. Now I've gotten in trouble for this one in the past as it's pretty frowned upon in the competitive scene, branding it with such brash terms as teabagging and attempts to discourage such god tier strategies. I know many of you might disagree with me on this, but please hear me out. When you've just killed someone in Realm Royale, you'll need to rush over to the body to take their loot. That's a given. Now if they have any teammates around, they're going to be looking to retaliate since you've just killed their man. To me, the only way to ensure that you don't receive a headshot from a vengeance-seeking assassin is to repeatedly crouch as you heal, reload, and shard up all your fallen enemy shit to craft up your own. Well guys, that's about all the tips I have for you today. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button. For anyone who's new, why the fuck haven't you subscribed to me yet? It doesn't cost you anything, and it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside when I see that sub counter go up. Anyways, thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.